Get off to Nigeria now. He would uh, kindly decide to, uh, to take us. Really good. Lovely. We've got to get up. <laughs> My arm's just gone off. <laughs> Okay, how are you feeling? We're in Amsterdam Airport. I'm feeling uh, a bit tired, but it was very pleasant on that uh, first journey. Got through customs. Just wait to get on the plane now to Lagos. Should be there in about seven hours, I would think. Well, we've arrived in uh, Lagos Airport. Came through the customs all right, but they. Uh, a few celestes in at first because we didn't have the yellow fever card. So uh, we were interrogated for 20 minutes, but uh, they let us in in the end. Here we are in our little hotel room for a couple of days. Sure How do you feel now you're off the plane? Tired. Hot. way to the orphanage now. This is typical Lagos traffic jams. So we're just coming yes. up to the orphanage. Yeah. It's a lot different than we came last time. This is a great moment for us going to the orphanage with its own gates. It's great this isn't it Jay? Yeah. These are the window frames all ready to put in and put the glass in. This is the wall that's built right round now. This is the well that we dug uh, a few years ago now. We had to dig 180 foot down to get water. I'm very impressed. It's great to see the, uh, the wall all round. Uh, the roof is terrific, it's best, best in the air. It's not just corrugated No, it's isn't it? Now. It's uh, really to a Yeah. Uh, can't wait to come and see the orphans in it. Some of the cat live in here. I've encouraged them to come back to the people. We're at Geoffrey Chetto's brother's house in Abuja. Been a long, tiring day, we're really tired. Just thought we'd sit in the shade here and reminisce. Tony's found a cat, so she'll be happy about that. And the boys are getting some mangoes for Jolie. thousands of Christians in Nigeria, but very few disciples. And Jesus is looking for disciples. He preached to the multitudes, but he only picked disciples. That's the church that's in competition. And this is the church where Maris is preaching. Oh, it was so hot in there. I had to lift up one of the flats so that some wind could come through. I was dying with the heat. And I'm so grateful that my old guy is here with my mama. And their son is talking. Are you not proud? Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah. This is exciting, isn't it? Checking those who carry arms and to just make trouble. Our desire is your kingdom come. Your will be done in Ministers Conference 2011. We're awake now. <laughs> this is when they were just coming out of the <laughs> compound to pass the guards and we're on our way to the uh, church in So even though Ely was another Pentecostal denomination, they weren't as good as us because my dad joined the Assemblies of God. That's how I thought. So I had the Pentecostal glasses on, so word of faith was bad. 
And everybody reads the scriptures with their doctrinal glasses on. I'm a Calvinist, so that's what it means. I'm a word of faith, so that's what it means. So John and I have come a long journey and we've had to get rid of my Pentecostal doctrine. Not because it, it was bad, but it was biased. To understand the parable, you need to understand the context. But I wasn't sure whether I could come because I don't have a church. So, you know, we just live by faith, we have to... Have I want to sing a song to you now and it's, it's all about the old rugged cross and it says, I'll cherish that old rugged cross. And so Jesus came to destroy the work of the devil, Jesus came to bring unity. Is that not what it said? Grenades and everything. And I walk in and I says, I want you to clear out this building right now. They say, what power do you have? And I turn around and I look at, see these 400 men with the arm, armed guns? There's my power. We have about 50 others who could do all that he could do. Maybe if they brought into 50. So now we're suffering in 50 places. <laughs> they have sown their life into you. And let the harvest that will surprise them. Yes, we're staying in a, a compound that's got big walls on. And uh, it's run by the government, and uh, we have armed guards to look after us. Got lovely trees, we've got pathways. All right, we have no lights in the house, we have candles. Okay, we have no water, running water, so we have to <laughs> get buckets and we've got no bed sheets. pour them down the toilet. All right, we've got no bed sheets. <laughs> Good to see you guys again. Who is not happy here? Who is not happy? Because you know, one day you're going to have to stand before God and give an account for everything you've done in the flesh. And if you stand there and say, oh well I did it because my pastor said this was what you were supposed to do. That is a fool's way to end up.